crazy one, but um, are you disappointed <laughs> with the performance? Yes, very disappointed. Um, I think around all three goals we made decisive mistakes, like the first goal, of course, definitely too early in our situation, um, it's obviously not what you need to, to get a foot in the game. I understand it a little bit because it's a situation where we, we pass the ball forward, lose it and have a chance to win it back. Diogo nearly blocks the ball. If he can block the ball, then I think we go the other way. But he can't block the ball, ball first plays through our lines. And there we have to interrupt the game. However, I don't know exactly. I have to look it back. But um, because the moment when Odegaard can, is free on the ball, I think it was Odegaard and passed the ball to Martinez. So this pass is not to defend anymore. It's just not possible. You know, one nil down. Really um, bad start. Um, but start controlling the game. Play a really good game against a very aggressive, full of confidence Arsenal side. But um, we really showed that we are here for a reason. Scored the equaliser, wonderful goal, great play, um, an open game. Could ball go either way, I think, with advantages for us. Um, more possession, more finishes, these kind of things. Um, yeah, and then we make a, 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 a bad decision before half-time, we get a free kick, and it's a situation where you ignore a free kick, I'm completely guilty for that. You can, as an excuse for my side, I can say I was surprised that we, <laughs> that we went up front and I, like, hey, what are we doing? But then, yeah, if the boys are convinced, then let's score a goal. But we didn't. We conceded one on the other end. And that's now, um, of course, not... Yeah, like after the worst possible start, now we had the worst possible end. Of the first half, going in half time, there we have additional problems. Um, Lujo, we had to change already before, obviously. Um, something with the knee, not good. We will no, not good. We'll, we will, he will have a scan and then we know more. I have no idea about the extent. But on top of that, Trent on the bat as well and with the ankle, twisted ankle, not good. Trent never in seven years never went off if he could have played on. So pain, not too much pain, slight swelling immediately. So we'll have to scan. But told the boys, so we have to try to um, obviously cut off the two goals and, um, and, and, and build on the, on the good stuff. But that means you have to play football again, and that's what we didn't do. Yes, Arsenal came out again, very aggressive, man with man against Hendo and, and Thiago. Um, but we were not flexible enough anymore in the front line. So didn't drop in the right moments, didn't offer half spaces apart from the goal, where we did that obviously particularly well. Then we scores the, the equaliser, and now it's a really open game. I think with again a slight advantage for us, but then the the, um, the penalty happens, and uh, what can I say now about that situation? So he he thought immediately it's a penalty, which, which is interesting, but his decision. Mr. England had a look at it and thought as well as a penalty, so um, how we know in life, if two refs think the same, then it's the truth we have to live with. Um, but if I see the situation back, when there, if, if there was contact, and I'm not sure there was contact, but there might have been soft contact, of course, but the player goes again on both feet and then down, that's an indication that something might have been made up a bit. So, but not for the refs. But they thought it's a clear, not a handball in the first half when Diogo put the ball on Gabriel's arm. We cannot change that, you know. Our situation is now obviously a really difficult one. Um, but in this, in, if then, it's already difficult enough with injuries now on top of that. But if in a, if in a game like this, these decisions go, go against you, yeah. It's kind of typical, but it doesn't help. And so now we lost the game. Um, with a lot of good moments, again, not to forget the team in form played against the team not in form, pretty much. Um, and we, we played some good stuff and could have had got a result here. I think a draw would have been a, a, a deserved result. Um, but now we have to deal with that, that's fine. Miguel, the lady. Hey, Jürgen, at the moment it seems like it's one step forward, one step back. You mentioned formula. Do you think this is just kind of 
circumstances all coming together at the moment, or do you have deeper concerns about like, where the team is right now? What kind of deeper concerns? Like just say, well, whether there needs to be changed the formation. I mean, obviously, there's so much focus on you have to change the attack. But, but that's what I'm asking you. Do you have deeper concerns, or it, do you think it's just? No, not about that. Not about that. I think the goals we conceded um, had nothing to do with the system. Uh, that we have to get used to it a bit more is normal as well. Can we play it again? I don't know, because we lost today one important part of it. Um, so we have to see what, who is available uh, for the next game. But um, do I have deeper concerns? Yes, of course, I'm not happy. How can I? Um, your colleague from Talksport told me now uh, he knows me just happy all the time and making jokes. So I'm not sure exactly which uh, which type, uh, which Jürgen Klopp he knows. But um, we are obviously in a, neither in a mood for jokes nor happy. Uh, we are um, in a in a tough in a tough moment, and we want to get through this together. And that's what we are working on. Moving up the table by winning football games, so that's a good idea. Um, and what was the rest? If, if the, that we didn't want win or that we played a long season or didn't win the two trophies, that's the, the two different questions I get asked. So I was saying how Liverpool last season you were competing for four trophies. Do you think it's a factor in terms, depending on how well you're doing already this season? Um, if we are competing for four trophies this last year, season. Uh, last season, yeah, I know. Okay, sorry, yeah. I really try to understand. But what does it do with this season? That's that's the part I didn't understand I, yet. I was asking if you think it's the fact as to how well you're doing this season. Ah, no. I don't, no, sorry, it's fine. No, I don't. I don't. I know. That's uh, quite a lot of people ask me that if we play how we play because last year we uh, lost the two big trophies. Um, it's, it feels like it's years ago. I don't think it's the reason, but I understand that you all out there think about around all corners and find and try to find a reason. But um, things like this can happen. John in the second round. Jürgen, this defeat leaves you 14 points behind Arsenal. Now you've got a game in hand, but inevitably people are going to say, "Oh, you know, where does this leave Liverpool's title chances and chances in getting even for the top four? Where, where do you kind of see yourself in that?" Yeah, not in the title race. Imagine I would sit here and think, "Yeah, we are nearly there. Wait." Um, look, we saw a lot of things. So we have problems in the moment, but we caused the team in form, the leader of the table massive problems today, I think, even in a really bad situation for us. With early changes and stuff like this, we cause them real problems. So that's the truth as well. So we have to continue. So of course, in a situation like ours, um, um, now you play, now play Arsenal and, and, and now we play Rangers, obviously, and then you play Man City. Is that the perfect opponent for finding confidence back? Probably not. Eh? So, but we will go out there and fight. Um, and that's what we have to do, and that's what we will do. Um, and we are not here for um, being happy with the situation we are in and stuff like this, and thinking about last year and nearly there, and nearly no, not at all. None of nobody of us is like that. But it's always like this in 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 a, in, in a situation like this. It's you can ask all the questions, but my answers are I cannot change them really a lot. If you're winning, you know, five million things we could talk about. He's great. He's great. He's super. And the goals was outstanding. If you're losing, it's always the same. It's a bit more. The conversations are a bit more rusty, yeah? um, and I cannot change that. I couldn't be bothered about it to be honest. But we work on solutions. Today I saw how is that some of them, but when you then. Knock down with your what is a nice word for the backside. <laughs> so what you build with your hand, you knock down with your backside. That's really that's not helpful, and that's what we did today, um, and that makes it obviously even more difficult. And um, well, but we will keep going.
We have a lot of hands up, but yeah, we won't get through everyone. I'll, I'll just have the gentleman the glasses. We're going to have to get through as many as quick as we can. Thank gentleman behind. I know it's difficult after defeat, but you were full of praise for Arsenal for Martinelli, Odegaard, Saka, and so on. What's your impression now? Have you stood at the side of the pit? Didn't change. Like Didn't change during the game. They are still good. And yes, it's a very difficult moment to talk about that, but. Um, how I said, my situation is that I have to answer all the questions, even the one why I'm not laughing, which I really cannot believe. So, if the questions, that's the last question. We have a long yeah. way home. Oh, you mentioned that despite the defeat, you seen, you have seen like good stuff uh, from your team. Uh, within the good thing you've seen from Liverpool, how do you rate Darwin's performance? Not only because he scored, was good. but he makes run all. He yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. It was good. Sharp. Good, involved in nearly everything. He's got a great goal. Yeah. Good. Last one to the gentleman here. Hi. Hi, Evan. Hi. Can I ask um, for your reasoning behind the substitution of Mo Salah? <laughs> Why you give questions away like. like <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's a good question. He's new in the job. Um, uh, I. Thought we can, so we had to defend um, again on a high level, and we tried to put um, Hendo on that side there. Um, Moore did unbelievable, um, a lot, really big, big workload. Remember, you put in a real shift, um, and that sometimes it's very intense, and that's why we thought we can do it with Hendo. And then we wanted still to win even when we took a strike off. Thank you, everyone. Apart from you.